Are you thinking about trying to pull for Clara and don't know if it's worth it, or have you already pulled her and want to know what she does? Either way, I'm here to go over Clara's abilities and how I think you should use Clara in a team. To start off, Clara is a physical destruction path character. The role on your team could be that of a main tank or an off tank depending on the Eidolon level you have with her. Let's go over her skills to get a better understanding of why I say that. Her technique is a small price for victory, and it immediately attacks the enemy upon entering battle and also increases the chance that Clara will be attacked for two turns to start the battle. This ability is very tank-like, taking the pressure off of your other team members for a few turns to either set up or go on the offensive. Her talent is because we're family. Under the protection of Svarog, damage taken by Clara when hit by enemy attacks is reduced by 10%. Svarog will mark enemies who attack Clara with his mark of counter and retaliate with a counter, dealing physical damage to a single target equal to a percentage of her attack stat based on the skill's level. This ability is Clara's bread and butter and synergizes really well with her technique and is the main reason you would want to run Clara as a tank. The reduced damage, combined with the built-in counter for every hit is a good way to deal consistent damage to the enemy even if you're backed into a corner. Her basic attack is, I want to help. It deals physical damage equal to a percentage of Clara's attack stat determined by the skill level in the traces tree. It's a basic attack, so there's not much to say about it, but it deals a decent amount of damage and does a healthy chunk to physically weak enemies' break bar. Clara's skill is honestly one of my favorite abilities in her kit. The skill, Zvarog Watches Over You, is an area of effect attack that deals physical damage equal to a percent of her attack based on trace level of the skill, and deals an extra portion of the same amount to targets marked by Svarag with marks of counter. Ideally, you would want all of the enemies on the field to be marked before you use this ability, since it does really good damage once an enemy is marked. This ability is the reason you would want to run Clara as the sole tank since you want to keep all of the enemy aggro on Clara as much as you can. Seeing an entire wave of enemies go down to the skill is a really awesome feeling even if it is fairly rare that the scenario does take place. Her ultimate skill, Promise, not Command, is an enhancing skill. After Clara uses the ultimate, she receives a damage reduction by a percentage determined by the trace level of the ultimate, and she additionally has a greatly increased chance of being attacked for two turns. This isn't a taunt, but in my experience, more often than not, the entire enemy team is focused on Clara for those two turns. On top of that, Svarog's counter is enhanced, so when an ally is attacked, Svarog immediately launches a counter and its damage multiplier increases. This enhanced Enhanced counter also deals 50% of the damage dealt to the main target to adjacent enemies. The enhanced counter can happen twice before the ultimate has to be recast to regain the effect. The ultimate is also a contributing factor to classifying Clara as more of a tank due to the damage reduction and pseudo taunt effect. I find this effect happens fairly often, especially in very difficult back and forth fights. Taking a look at her trace tree, you can level up all of the skills mentioned before. You can also gain extra abilities and effects for Clara and Svarog. On top of all of the stat boosting effects, Clara also has access to Kinship, which gives Clara a chance to remove a debuff placed on them when she's attacked. Under Protection, which gives her the chance to resist debuffs, and Revenge, which increases Zvarog's counter damage. Taking a look at Clara's Eidolons, First is a tall figure, which makes your skill not remove marks of counter on enemies, which in my opinion is very strong for the first Eidolon, given the mark doubles the damage output of her skill. The second Eidolon is a tight embrace, which increases her attack for two turns after using the ultimate. Extra damage is always good, especially on a character built around countering everything. Third is cold steel armor, which increases skills level by 2 up to a maximum of 15, and basic attack by 1 to a maximum of 10. Her fourth is Family's Warmth, which reduces the damage Clara receives by 30% after she has taken a hit, with that effect lasting until the start of her next turn. Very good for survivability and staying up in longer fights, especially when a lot of bosses seem to like follow-up attacks. The fifth Eidolon is a Small Promise, which increases both the ultimate and talent's level by 2 up to a maximum of 15 for both. Her last Eidolon is Long Company, which gives Svarog a 50% chance to activate his counter when other allies are hit and mark the responsible enemy with the mark of counter. Additionally, when using the ultimate, the number of enhanced counters Svarog can dish out increases from 2 to 3. This last Eidolon is incredibly strong and is the only condition I would say makes Svarog a good off tank. Combining something like main character with Path of Preservation with Eidolon 6 Clara would make for some pretty crazy damage reduction along with being able to counter enemies that are taunted by main character fire skill. I genuinely envy anyone who has Eidolon 6 Clara, as she can be an absolute monster of a team member when put with the right team composition. I would definitely recommend Natasha as a team member since with her trace tree she has the ability to remove debuffs and crowd control with her skill. Additionally, any good Path of the Hunt character would be a good teammate, since Clara can deal with groups of enemies with her skill and marks of counter. Sila is a good option, since she can act as an AoE character if you get the chain kills just right. If you don't have Eidolon 6 Clara, I wouldn't recommend using MC Fire, since Clara gets no benefit from their skill's taunt until Eidolon 6. Until then, I would either go with your choice of Harmony, Erudition, or Nihility characters depending on your situation or personal preference. 
Avoid preservation and destruction characters since Clara is both a destruction character and can act as a main tank on her own. If you're wondering which light cones you should apply to Clara, I would recommend something irreplaceable. A 5 star light cone suited to Clara specifically, or nowhere to run, a 4 star light cone. They both have HP regenerating effects, but I would definitely run something irreplaceable if I had it. As for relics, I would go with the Champion of Streetwise Boxing set. Getting hit boosts your attack, and that effect can stack up to 5 times, lasting for the rest of the battle, giving you up to a 25% per permanent damage boost in battle on top of increasing your physical attack by 10%. As for planar ornaments, I'm honestly not too sure, as I haven't had the time to mess around with the planar ornaments too much, so you'll have to get back to me on that one. For right now, I'd probably say either the Space Ceiling Station set, since that has the potential for a 24% damage increase, or the Fleet of the Ageless set, which increases HP and then attack. With that, I believe that I have nothing else regarding Clara for now. Let me know what you think about her in the comments section below. I personally really like her, and I have enjoyed having her in Svarag on my team. She's been incredibly helpful in a lot of fights, and I can't wait to get her to Eidolon 6 in 5 years. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, take care of yourselves.